welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a dynamic dashboard web application in this dashboard you don't need to write a lot of code everything done by your settings updation or by your google sheets okay so you can see here we have the show filtration where, where we can apply the filters here like the active and inactive and the pending you can easily apply the filter here you can see the chart wise distribution of your data how you can do this setup and i will show you all the things step by step so you can see here we have the export and import features you can import the data as well you can export the data as well everything i can show you step by step first of all i'm going to log out from here you can see here the logout pop-up i just click on this logout in the google sheet user sheet we have the admin user id so just copy this user id and paste it here and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in you can able to see here a dashboard appears in front of us so in this dashboard you can able to see here the database one and the database two these are actually the cruds and what happens if you need to add a column in this database how you can do that simply go to your google sheet go to your database one sheet and just select here and insert one column left and here you can add here the fee okay the fee you enter here and now that's it just refresh your web application we have a use the local storage which can store your login uh, for a long time until you log out manually okay so you can able to see here the fee column is added successfully and when you edit or update the fee column is working i just come here and enter the 50 and click on this save changes so when i click on this save changes you can able to see here the 50 fee is added here successfully okay so you can see the import export so what happen if you need to add a one more database you can see here right now we have the two databases the database one and the database two so what happen if you need to add a one more database you can simply come here click on this press so you can able just rename this data base three or you can give him a name any what you want okay that's it now all okay now you need to add it here like for example the id and here you need to enter the name that's it okay now just come here refresh your web application so when you refresh your web application the database three is added successfully here okay so the uh, the sheet names automatically comes here and if you want to alignment you can able to see here the database one and the database two you will place here so when you refresh the database two will be comes here instead in place of database three you can simply click on this database three so right now you can able to see here no data records found here you can simply click on this add new record and enter the name and click on this add record so when you click on this add record your data is going to be added successfully in your database like now you can able to see here and in this web application we have added a admin and user feature so admin can see all the data but the user can able to see their own data okay now you can able to see here we have added successfully the name here what happened if i want to need to add here one more column okay i just uh, just simply add here one column less left, left and here i am just entering here the status okay the status okay now that's it and now i am just refresh my web application so when i refresh my web application you can easily able to see here the alignment which we have set it the database one and the database two and the database three and when you go to your database three you can also able to see here the database three so you can able to see when you click on this edit in this status there here's a drop down come notes the text how you can do that i will show you okay just simply click on this active and click on this save changes so when you click on this save changes your data is going to be added out successfully and now you can able to see here the colors is automatically green how is this possible automatically greens you can do all the things by this theme setting okay so in the theme setting what you want to do we just go to our database one and in the database one we have a lot of data this is a demo one and i want to make in a particular a customized color okay i just go to the theme when i go to the theme and in the theme section you can i just cl simply click on this add new theme just paste it here the text where is found and select the color okay i select here uh the this purple uh, blue color okay and the description okay that's it and click on this add theme so when i click on this add theme right now you can able to see here in the database one the demo email will be in the blue color right now 
so like that you can also add the colors here okay what happen if you need to add here the image upload in the settings sections when you go to in the settings sections you can easily add out that for example this is a placeholder uh, let me show you an example uh, let me give you uh, the status free status i am just coming here and uh, just adding a uh, one row above not uh, the above i just coming here one column left and here i am going to enter a web url okay a web url i am enter here so it's added successfully i refresh my web application and after refreshing my web application i just copy this okay and uh, go to my settings sheet and when i go to my settings sheet so i just simply click on this add new setting the field name web url what you want the text the email the phone the number the date the text area the drop down the url or the image upload you can also uh, select the image upload as well i just select here the image upload a placeholder text if you want to add you can add required field add filter if you want to add a filter you can easily add out a filter here uh, let me show you the uh, again how it will work and click on this add setting so when i click on this add setting right now you can able to see here when you go to your in database 3 so the web url is added here and right now in the web url place the image comes you can simply click on this choose file and select any image so the image will be uploaded in your google drive so when you go to your google drive it will be automatically saved here in the folder okay the url comes here and click on this save changes so when you click on this save changes the profile url will be comes here successfully and the image will be viewed by 50 by 50 pixels okay so this is uh, one more thing and here's you can see here the charts and the filters how you can add the charts and the filters let me go to your database tool in the database tool uh, you can easily able to see here we have the email and you can se uh, select here the email the filter email okay so we already have how you can add them go to your settings and what is the field name you need to enter here okay and when you need to enter here you need a filter for this particular number yes i need a filter is it required or you need a chart what chart pie chart or donut chart i just select here the donut chart and click on this update setting so when i click on this update setting so you can simply copy this amount in the database one if you have the amount column already it's good and if you don't have the amount column you can uh, simply uh, just come here in the setting sections so when you come here in the setting sections you can simply copy this okay and just come it here and paste it here that's it now go to database one and refresh it so now you will able to see here the amount column is added successfully and the amount filter and chart added out successfully okay so show charts so you can able to see here the amount chart is here and the show filters you can also able to see the filter amount as well so in the settings you can add you can make the charts or filters for your data now let's come to the users part so what happened in the users section so you can simply click on this new user i am just adding it here the demo okay uh adding with here the demo one two three and again enter here the uh, name okay enter here the email id and the role is this read only okay so here we have added the read only or the yes condition if you select the read only it means the edit or delete buttons will not be able to show to your users okay so what database you need to give the permission to your data to your user the database one and the database two and the database three you can select all of them or you can select a particular okay and simply click on this add user so when you click on this add user now you your user is being added successfully okay so you can see here here's the kits at the rate because in the theme sections we have already added the kits at the rate gmail colors so you can also able to see here in our themes section we already have added them okay so uh in the uh, we just log out from here and click on this logout so when i click on this logout i need to enter here the demo and password the demo one two three and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in as of now you can able to see here no record found this user only have the data of the database one or access okay so he cannot able to add any kind of data 
so what you need to do you go to your user sections here you just need to delete it okay and just when you are you can able to see here i i have deleted successfully here the read only now the user can easily able to add new record import or export i just simply click on this add new record enter the details here like the demo okay the phone number i just enter here and the email address i enter here and enter the amount here that's 450 select status inactive choose file if i want to add i can simply select a file here okay and again if i select here the date i can simply select the date and the file is going to be uploaded in our google drive in the assets name folder you can replace the google drive folder id in your code.js and click on this add record so when you click on this add record right now you can able to see here your record is going to be added out successfully in your database okay so when you again click on this add record if the record already added in your database so it will give you an error duplicate detected okay simply click and refresh your web application so when you refresh your web application the data of the user will be shown here okay so you can able to see here the database one is completely loaded here and the user data successfully being shared here data visibility you are only viewing only your own records okay records you create will be visible only to you and the administrators so you can easily export this okay so you can export the file here so when you are exporting the data your uh, uh, your database is here and if you come here and just come hit here and make it two to three columns and click on this save and now that's done and click on this import choose file and go to your download section select your file and click on this skip duplicate update or merge and update duplicates okay and click on this import so when you click on this import right now you can able to see